Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the DAX today? I think the, the first thing to, to take notice of on the, the DAX daily is, um, well, we pointed out this diversions yesterday, and this is continuation diversions. In other words, we're looking for another move to the downside. Okay. However, the awesome oscillator has popped above the zero, and it's closed above the zero. Yeah. So this is an indication that the trend is changing. In other words, this downward trend is changing. Whereas the divergence here is indicating that this trend is going to continue. In other words, that was a retracement and we're now moving to the downside. Now, I'm still of the opinion that I want to see the downside move. I do want to see a, a deeper pullback and at which point I'm looking for a higher low. And that is going to be my entry for a, a swing trade. And the swing trade I'm looking for is really to, to move into December. Okay. So it could be that this is going to turn out to be a V-reversal at the moment, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. Now, the interesting thing that is happening at the moment is we've got this potential flag forming. Okay, so let's just get to the half hour. Okay. So you can see that is our downward channel at the moment. Okay. So this is could very much be a, a, a flag or it could be a topping pattern. Okay. So it's difficult to call at the moment. Um, we'd have to break above this, this level here for this flag to be validated in my eyes anyway. So break above 12,400. Then I'm looking for a retest, and then that would break. That, that would validate the flag for me. Okay, so yesterday was uh, another up and down day. If you look at uh, what happened, so we had basically 90 point move up, probably 50, 60 point move down, and then sideways. Okay, so there's nothing really concrete here to say that we are moving to the upside. The significant thing that we do have is the previous fractal, which was this one here, was broken. Okay, hasn't broken with a close, broken with a tail, so I sort of take those with a pinch of salt, but it did create a, a new high. Okay, so that's one way of looking at it. So what I'm, I'm kind of in two minds. I would like to see a pullback. You know, Quite honestly, I, I would love to see a, a deeper pullback. But the fact that we have broken up above the 4-hour turn moving average, and look what's happening with the Williams percentage R here. We're coming back down into reasonable levels, which is going to indicate that there is an opportunity to get long again. Okay, the daily is a bit of a different picture, quite a different picture. But your 4-hour, which... It would typically allows you to get in on these um, these trends a little bit earlier than if you're trading a daily. You know, this to me is very much a a flag. Okay, and it could also be seen that that was the flag. This was the breakout, and this has been the retest. So if you do that on the half hour, you'll see what I mean. So there's the original flag down, breakout, retest. So this flag is broken and retest. Okay. So two ways of looking at it. It's turned into a channel or that was a flag break. Okay. So um, for me, looking at the one hour and the four hour, uh, I'm quite happy with uh, the oscillators at the moment, that there is potential for a move the upside and that this was a flag. So what I'd be interested to see is going to be a break above this half hour fractal here of 12.385 or alternatively a break below 12.355. Okay, those are the two levels I, I want to watch. And if we do break the downside, I am still looking for longs. Okay, so I'm still of the opinion that this is a flag. So I'm still looking for longs. It's only once we break below uh, pretty much the 
bottom of the flag, which is going to be this level here of 12,300. Now, if we break below 12,300, I'll change my tune. But for now, uh, I'm still bullish, and um, albeit a little bit mildly bullish, but we are still bullish, and I'm looking for a, a long entry. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I suspect what's going to happen is we will probably open flat. See where futures is right now. Futures is at 12,387, and we closed at 12,370. So, you know, we're playing around at the top here. So I'd like to see us pull back. We've got a gap here. I'd like to see us close this gap and also close the daily gap. At which point that's going to line up with a alligator retest. So if you see what I'm talking about here, we had a first attempt here, second attempt, third attempt. And the third attempt is the one that looks like it's holding. If you see what the last couple of bars are. So we want to see this level hold. I'd like to see... If we do gap up, I want to see a pullback, build a level at the gap close or even at the bottom of this uh, range that I've got drawn in. So, you know, just stay above 30, sorry, 12, 3, 55. If we can stay above that, um, there's an opportunity to get long and let's see where, we, see where it takes us. If this is a flag break, it's going to be a fairly significant long. Okay. So, in other words, I'm looking for a long and... If we can get at this level here, I will have a stop below this pin bar here. So I'm looking for a 44 point stop loss, and I am anticipating that this trend continues. Okay, so that's the, the one scenario. The other scenario. Uh, and that's the one that I'm playing today, okay? So I'm expecting this to continue, that this was a V reversal. That's what I'm doing. Um, what I would like to see would be a deep pullback. Okay, so I'd like to see a, a pullback all the way back to this level here of 1 to 135. That's a previous breakout. It's also between the 50 and 61.8 Fibonacci. And if we can get a deep pullback like that, that would definitely give me the confidence I need um, to get in long and stay long. Okay, so that's the, the way I'm looking at this. So if we just uh, quickly summarize. So I'm watching this level to the downside. Okay, and then the second level to the downside I'm going to be watching would obviously be this swing low here. So 12.330 and 12.357. Those are the two levels to the downside I'm watching. So if we do move to the downside, this is where I'm expecting us um, to find some support. If we don't find support there, then it's going to be a case of waiting for us to get all the way down to wherever it wants to go. Um, but I th I'm still of the opinion that the last three days, this is consolidation for three days, and it's a flag. Okay, so that's that area, and then obviously I'm looking, so I'm basically looking for a price action to indicate a long entry between the areas of 12.357 and 12.372. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. And uh, we'll have to wait and see what price action dictates and how we can trade this. But for now, I'm looking for longs, and uh, anything that's going to change my mind is a break below a 12.330. And even then, I'm looking just for a deeper retracement, and I'm looking for an area to get long. Okay, so that's my take on this at the moment. Um, I hope that helps, and um, keep our stops tight. Now, there's two scenarios that could play out, and uh, right now you've got it's a kind of in my eyes it's a 50 50 chance. Okay, anyway, guys, um, stay safe, and I'll catch up with you later. Enjoy your day. Cheers for now.